Have you ever seen a tetrapod as big as yourself? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. The Mississippian period and Asian giant tetrapods, anthropods, mollusks, and arachnids. Today, I'm going to test Link's knowledge on what was happening all those years ago. Hello, you're here today with your host, Rhett, and Link, the one and only contestant. It's nice to have you here, Link. Joining us today will also be one of our very own crewmen, Chase, and we also have Stevie, who will be revealing the answers to Link over here. Thank you. Okay, so how many digits did an Acanthus data have on each hand? I'm gonna go with eight. That is correct, Link. An Acanthus data had eight digits on each hand, including legs, and their mouths created a vacuum to suck up their prey. That's very interesting. Yes, next question, Chase. Okay, so what does crossogenerous mean? Does it mean thick fog or thick frog? I'm going to go with thick fog. That is incorrect, Link. Mm -hmm. Crassogenius means thick frog or thick tadpole because of the way it resembled a tadpole. And it had very large eyes, which it used during the nighttime. Next question, Chase. What percent of the Greer Erpaterns tail makes up its body? Was it 10 to 14 percent or 30 to 50 percent? 10 to 14 percent seems to be too small, so I'm going to go with 30 to 50 percent. You're correct, Link. Greer Erpatons had a salamander-like flat body, and they had two primary teeth that they used for defense. How many ages make up the Mississippian epoch? Three or five? Five seems to be too much, so I'm going to go for three. That is correct, Link. The ages were the Vigian Age, the Ternasian Age, and the Serpilcovian Age. How did the temperature change during the Vigian Age? Did it get warmer or did it get colder? I'm going to say warmer. That's correct, Link. During the Vigian Age, it became increasingly warmer. And eel-like amphibians with no limb girdles started to evolve. The evolution of sharks was allowed by the extinction of what animal? Was it the bryozoans or the placoderms? I'm going to go for bryozoans. Sorry, Link. It's placoderms. During the Ternesian Age, sharks evolved because of the extinction of these placoderms. And small glaciers occurred. What percent of the air was made up of oxygen? Is it 99% or 35%? Well, I know that 21% is the normal amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. And it's increased in the Mississippian. I'm going to go for 99%. Sorry, Link. It was actually 35%. Dang during, <laughs> during the Coal Age, or the whole Carboniferous period, Large forests took a lot of carbon dioxide out of the air, leaving a surplus of the oxygen. What present-day animal did early tetrapods resemble? Did they resemble crocodiles or Perry the platypus? Well, Perry the platypus is from a TV show, so I'm going to go for crocodiles. I'm sorry, Link. The answer is crocodiles! Yes! <laughs> the early tetrapods could grow up to 20 feet long. And they reduced the reliance on water by adapting to the amnio egg, which were eggs that they could lay outside of water, and they were armed with vicious teeth. What continent was submerged in a shallow sea? Was it North America or Australia? Well, I'm going to go with Australia. Link, you are incorrect. Oh, North America was actually submerged under a shallow sea. And during the Mississippian period, Madison and Redwall limestone of the Grand Canyon was deposited. When was the West Lithuanian discovered? Was it 1989 or 1984? A five year difference. Yes. And I'm supposed to decide which one of them is the right answer. Yes. 1884. Link? That's correct! The West Lothinia was discovered in 1984 in East Kirkton Quarry, West Lothian, Scotland. West Lothiana 
actually means animal from West Lothian. So. <laughs> what caused the Puma scorpius to increase in size? Was it its diet or the higher oxygen levels? Well, the more an animal eats, the bigger it gets. So its diet would be the logical answer. Is that your final answer, Link? Yes. I'm sorry, Link. The Pomona scorpius increased in size because of the higher oxygen levels. A Pomona scorpius actually means breathing scorpion, and it relied on its large eyes to hunt. Where did the Ophidurpitans live? Did they live in trees or burrows? Ophidurpitans, did you say? Yes, that is correct. Trees? <laughs> I have no idea. Is that your final answer, Link? Yes. No, I'm sorry. Ophidurpitans, meaning snake creeper, were a limbless amphibian that lived in burrows and hunted invertebrates. How many bryozoan fossils have been discovered? Was it 15,000 or 1 million? 1 million seems to be too much. Let's go for 15,000. That is correct, Link. Yes! So, bryozoans, also known as moss animals, ate tiny plankton particles and had a ring of ciliated tentacles to collect food. What was the landmass called during the Mississippian period? Was it Pangaea or Laurasia? If you're telling me that Mississippian, so it would have to be near Mississippi, Mississippi is in North America, and Asia is in Laurasia, so Pangaea! Is that your final answer, Link? <laughs> no. Hmm? I'm going against my instinct for Laurasia. You're correct, Link! The Mississippian period was part of Laurasia, and in that atmosphere and climate, it was very warm, damp, tropical, and humid, which produced more plants, and the many plants lacked growth rings, like on a tree, suggesting a uniform climate. How long could the Thames bottles get? Could they get 12 centimeters or 160 centimeters? 12 centimeters is like this big. Yes. That seems to be too small, so I'm going for 160 centimeters. Final answer. Yes, Link. The Temnospondyli appeared 330 million years ago, and they were a type of amphimidids, which were small terrestrial animals that could grow up to 120 to 160 centimeters long. How many major groups were mollusks divided into? Was it 17 or 1738? Mollusks are shelled creatures? Yes, yeah. plain. <laughs> yes. What they are. Seventeen. Yes, Link, the answer is seventeen. The mollusks were a large and diverse group of soft-bellied, unsegmented animals. The families may have included snails, slugs, periwinkles, whelks, limpets, mussels, oysters, scallops, clams, squid, octopus, cuttlefish, and many other forms. The seven groups they were divided into were Amphinura, Bilbalvia, Scaphopoda, Monoplosphoria, Gastropods, Cephalopoda, Cephalopoda 1, which is Nautiloida, and Cephalopoda 2, which was the squid. Okay then. Yes. What was the largest known anthropod to have existed? Was it the Eurypterid or the Ikakukabai? Well, I have no idea. So I'm going to go with the Ikakukabai just because I like the name of it. Link, you are incorrect. Oh. I'm sorry. Anthropods were the first true spiders, and they actually, the first true spiders appeared in the Mississippian period. The earliest fossil of an air breathing scorpion with book lungs dates from the Mississippian period, and the name arthropod comes from the Greek arthros, jointed, and podis, meaning feet. Well, fun fact for you, the smallest arthropod is the Tantula carida at a length of only 0 0.0037 inches. Well, that is all for our show today. What?
actually, we have one little part left. Since you did such a good job, Link, we have a little mystery box for you. Is it going to be something I need to eat? Let's find out. Because if it's something I need to eat, I am not eating it. Hey, you came on the show. You just have to. But see, they always put things in here I need to eat. And they're things I hate, like tomatoes. Oh, uh, look. Bug gum. First ever introducing... I bug gum. Bug chapstick. You know what time it is. It's time for bloopers. GMM, bloopers, scene four, take three. This Noah Anthropod to have existed. Was it the Yerpaterid or the Ikukubai? Are you okay down there, Stevie? I'm good. Bugs off of ya. I said pusky. <laughs> I already know when we're pulling bugs. And other things. <laughs> <laughs>